Hey guys, it is me again. Today is Thursday, May 31st. That would be the last day of May. Makes it day 152 on our Daily Bread Project 2012. Guys, it's always good to be here. Hope y'all are doing good tonight, this morning, whenever you see this. Um... Uh, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can, guys. I mean, I'm my stomach's bothering me a little bit, just to be honest about it. So uh, I wanted to get this in a little bit earlier tonight. So I need to try to get this done so I can go uh, use the bathroom or whatever I need to do. Take me an Alka-Seltzer sure, or whatever I need to do to get my stomach settled down. Of course, as you can probably see I'm a little bit dirty and I still got to clean up and everything. So uh, excuse me, I'm gonna try to get through as quick as I can. Uh, uh, I got dirty this evening, guys. I uh, had a guy, you know, it's kind of strange how people, I don't know, I guess it's a compliment that people, a lot of people when they come in my shop, uh, and I've always had them do this, I mean, no matter if who's worked for me, a lot of people will come in there and they'll specify, you know, they'll come up to me or they'll specify it on the phone or whatever that they want me to work on their car. Not one of my employees, me. Uh, or their motorcycle, their four-wheeler, or whatever the case may be. Like I said, I guess that's a that's a compliment that I've got that good of a reputation. Uh, then again, it's kind of an insult because, you know, the way I look at it is uh, if you think I'm good but my employees can't do it right, I mean, do you think I would really have somebody like that that was incompetent that couldn't do the work, you know, working for me? Uh, no. Um, you know, anything that I've got, I would let any employee that I've got, you know, work on it. And a matter of fact, I do. I mean, most of the time with our cars and stuff, you know, me or dad, usually we're not the one that works on our own cars. Uh, but anyway, I just like I said, I was kind of going down a rabbit trail there. Uh, but I, I had a boy come in wanting a wheel bearing to put in a, a Suzuki Hayabusa, which you guys that know about motorcycles will know it one. At one time, it was the fastest motorcycle in the world, uh, quickest and fastest. Now the Kawasaki actually ZX14 is. Uh, but uh, anyway, I had a boy coming in, and he kept specifying that when he called the other day. Now, I want you to work on it. All right. Then he called this evening and said, I can be there. At like 3.30 or something, he said, that this evening's the only time I can do it. Can you get me in? I said, yeah, come on, and we'll get it. And it's kind of one of those same deals again. I want you to work on it now. I want you to work on it. Nobody else but you. So uh, that's why I'm a little bit dirty this evening, guys. That was a dirty, messy, grimy job. And I had to try to do it fairly quick in order to get it done by, by closing time. So, But I got everything done, so... Uh, that turned out good. So, uh, what else tonight? Oh, my old brother, uh, you're about to get the hydrographic stuff down. I really believe that, brother. I know you are, and I, I know you believe that too. But uh, you're going to be really good at that. I can then tell because you're meticulous. Uh, you know, you really, you don't let stuff fly that other people would. And uh, and I appreciate it, brother. Whenever you do get one of the, whenever you do get my light switch done, just go ahead and send it to me. Uh, but I enjoy watching your videos. Uh, that you do do. Like I said, you inspire me. A lot of people on YouTube inspire me to do things. Darren does all the time. Uh, Milo does. You know, and I, and that's just the people I'm talking about that I watch their videos, and then I get people that 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 don't necessarily make videos but but comment and give me support you know and that stuff really means a lot so I want to thank all you guys for that uh, you know just, and I don't like starting naming names because you know y'all forget somebody but just all you guys you know you know who you are uh, I appreciate all of it guys I really do the comments the emails uh, the phone calls uh, some of you call me every now and then so uh, I really appreciate all that so let's see, guys. Normal stuff tonight. Just just pray for us. Pray, 
you know, we've had a, a storms move through tonight that's bringing a cold front through. I think the high of only supposed to be like 69 tomorrow, you know, and we've been in the 80s all week. So uh, that's going to be a little bit of a change and it rain off and on. So, you know, bad weather, guys, it just it, it affects our business, you know. So everybody just pray this has not been the best week in the world anyway, you know, plus where we didn't get to work Monday because of Memorial Day. So everybody just pray, guys, that the Lord will, uh, will let us make enough tomorrow, you know, to meet our obligation so I can draw a payday and, and, uh, and, you know, that kind of, that kind of stuff like that. So everybody just pray for that tonight. And, you know, I know that the Lord will, I know that the Lord will do it. He's always faithful. And, uh, he's never changing like we are. You know, we, we, we bounce from one extreme to the other sometimes, but he does. He's, we know he tells us in his word and we can see it by his actions that he's the same yesterday, today, and and forever so everybody just pray for all that guys and um uh, i guess that's about it so let's get done the important thing tonight and of course the word of god so let's see here ephesians guys chapter six starting in verse one here we go children obey your parents in the lord for this is right. I see a whole lot of that, guys, today. And, um, you know, um, children not obeying their parents. That's a bad problem today. That's a bad, bad problem. Verse 2 Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou may mayest live long on the earth. So guys, right here, Paul is telling us through the inspiration of God that if you treat your mother and father well, if you do as they wish, take care of them, not just taking care of them, that thing, so it's, it's obeying them, being obedient to them. You know, and we're all going to, as we grow up, we're going to do things here and there that we're not going to be obedient to our parents. But, you know, we got to learn that. we got to eventually learn uh, you know, and Paul's what Paul's getting at here is you will live longer if you obey, obey your parents. And guys, you know, I've even thought about this before, and 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 some people may get mad at me for saying this, you know, but uh, you know, I've told you guys a story before about my two cousins that are both dead, and uh, you know, I hate to say it, but uh, that's one of those deals. They were very, very disobedient to to their parents. Uh, you know, uh, now I, not to get into any family details or anything, screw, bring out no skeletons out of the closet. But uh, you know, one of their parents was kind of their problem. A lot of the problem with their with their acting, but they're you know still uh, they just didn't you know. Uh, I've seen my one cousin there, the last one to die. I've seen him so many times. His dad, you know, and his dad would try to do everything in the world for him. And I've seen him just so many times. Just cuss him to a fly wouldn't light on him. Call him stupid, blankety blank, blank this, and blankety blank that. And I mean, just, you know, stuff that I would die before I would say to either one of my parents. And, you know, uh, you know, neither one of those boys made it out of their 30s. Well, they didn't make it out of their 20s, excuse me. Well, they didn't make it to 30. I mean, guys, it's just, you know, God tells us that. We have to obey our parents, and we will live longer if we do. Verse 4, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, telling the skies to them, saying, Now, fathers, you've got to bring your children up right. You've got to bring them up and nurture them in the ways of, of the Lord. Verse 5, servants, be obedient to them that are your masters, according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, and singleness of your heart, as unto Christ, self-explanatory, not with eye service, as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will, doing service, as to the Lord, and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. 
But guys, back in this day, of course, we had a lot of slaves, and that's what he's talking about here. He said, whether you're a slave or you're a free man, you can still serve the Lord. You're still supposed to be good to people. You're still supposed to respect people. And the people that have got, uh, that are in high places set over you, your masters and things he's talking about here, you're supposed to listen to them. And ye masters, it's saying in verse 9, do the same thing unto them. So again, Paul's saying, okay, now, but you got to, you, you high and mighty guys, you got to listen to this. Forbearing, threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is thy respect to persons with him. He said, okay, now, now you guys that have got power over these servants, rich men at this time that own servants and things, now you've got to treat them right and with respect. He's saying, because your master is in heaven and he respects no man. He's no, he, or he's no respecter of persons. And what we mean by that when we say God is no respecter of persons, guys, that does not mean that God does not respect any of us. That means that God, it means that whether you're a, a homeless guy living on the street or you're the president of the United States or you're a billionaire or you're the king of England or you're whatever, God looks at both of you the same. God does not care about that kind of stuff. So, um, that's what it means when it says God's no respecter of persons. God does not see, show me favoritism over you or you favoritism over me. We're all the same in God's eyes. The only thing that makes a difference in God's eyes is whether we're of Him or not, whether we, we belong to Him, whether we serve Him or we're not. So, anyway, verse 10, guys. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Guys, I'll be honest. It's been a little while since I've read Ephesians. I mean, like straight through like we have here. You know, I've been in it in it here and there, you know, studying and doing things for, for, sermon, for, uh, for my sermons and things like that. But as far as reading it straight through like we've been doing here in the last couple weeks or ever how long we've been in Ephesians, uh, I've not done that in a while, guys, and, and there's some really good, powerful stuff here, uh, so it's a really good place to be, but anyway, guys, that's where we're going to stop tonight, good Lord willing, we'll continue verse 11 tomorrow night, like I said, guys, just pray for us, uh, we're supposed to have a church yard sale this weekend, uh, Saturday, again, uh, you know, we had it the 1st of May, so had some leftover stuff and decided to do it again, so they're having it. So uh, pray for that, guys. Pray that we'll be able to raise some money. We're trying to raise some money right now for a local boy that's uh, going to be doing some missionary work in uh, the uh, Mayan Yucatan, I think, uh, section of uh, Mexico. So uh, everybody, uh, we're going to try to raise some money for him. He needs like $1,500 to go. So, you know, he just wrote a letter to all the area churches and, we're going to try to help him, you know, if we, like I told, told the guys at church the other day, if we can raise a hundred bucks, my goal was 500. I'd like to raise 500 for this boy, you know, but whatever we raise, that'll help him. So, uh, so we're going to try to do that. So you guys pray for that. Like I said, guys, pray for all these things and pray for our business tomorrow. And, and uh, I guess that's about it. So if you all need anything, as always, let me know. Um, Good Lord willing, I'll be back here tomorrow night. So until I see you all again, good night and God bless.